Excuse me. Mr. Lennis, you ready to go? Is that me? Is it this? Here, I'll go like that. Good? Enjoy my life. So good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Since you all got quiet prematurely, <laughs> I will start a little premature this morning just to let's talk about something just quickly. This is uh, Reformation Sunday. I don't know. You know, us old Presbyterians know what that means, but a lot of people don't really understand what the Reformation means and what Reformation Sunday is. That's hard to see. If you go back one screen, you can see it a little bit bigger. All those banners represent our confessions along the way in the, in the life of the church. So those are all individual banners. Um, Protestant churches celebrate the Reformation annually on October 31st. I'll be pretty honest with you, I don't remember the last time we might have celebrated the Reformation here. It kind of got lost. But this is the anniversary of the day that Martin Luther nailed his 90, 95 thesis on the door of the Castle Church in Wittenberg, Germany. The start of the Protestant world. So in honor of the celebration, this week's liturgy and prayers all draw on different prayers from different Protestant reformers. So you'll notice in the bulletin where it's a not written by me prayer, but written by <laughs> long ago people. So with that all being said, this is a prayer by John Calvin that I ask you to gather your hearts to this morning. My God, my Father, my Savior, you have been pleased to preserve me by your grace through the night and you have brought me to this new day. Grant that I may use it entirely in your service, that I may think, say, and do nothing but to please you and to obey your holy will. May all my actions be to the glory of your name and to the service of others. And just as you cause the sun to shine on the world to give physical light, let your Holy Spirit illumine my mind to guide me in the way of righteousness. In everything we all do, let my goal and intention always be to walk reverently and to honor and serve you, relying only on your blessing for my well-being and undertaking only what is pleasing to you. Amen. Amen. So let's stand now and sing our introit together. be seated. So our call to worship is this this morning. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth God as our refuge and strength, 
a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult. Be still and know that I am God. I am exalted among the nations. I am exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Let us worship the living God. Let us do that this morning, shall we? So welcome to everyone. Welcome to all the faces. Everyone, good to see you this morning, even though it is a little bit chilly out there. Um, one thing that is very important that I may forget by the time we get around to announcements, and it's not really announcements, but I'm going to say it again out loud to all of you so you look at me. I will never, ever, <laughs> ever send you a text message that is introducing myself as Pastor Debbie, asking you for gift cards for cancer patients. I will never do that. I will never ask you for a gift card for anything by way of text message that I introduce myself as Pastor Debbie. Okay, remember that. First of all, who am I? No, no, I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> Secondly, I would never do that. If I needed to ask you for something, I would come to you. That is a big, all long time scam within churches and schools and things like that. Do not fall for it. I hope no one has. I don't know how much you spent if you did, but I suppose I should pay you back since it was my name. I'm just kidding. I'm not paying you back. <laughs> but please don't fall for anything like that. I will never do that. Okay, that's enough of that. So welcome this morning. Sounds like our thing, I saw a thumbs up from back there, so hopefully there is sound out into the world. And if there's not, there's a little backup with Facebook. So it's good to have you all here. Good morning out there. Um, and with all that being said, sorry, the, I will say to you, our help is in the name of the Lord. Amen. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love, of, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with each and every one of you. Thank you very much. Let's stand now and sing God of Ages, whose almighty hand, verses 1, 2, and 4. Mm -hmm. 